here in the nation's capital, Roger talked about you're all signing the, your Declaration of Independence. Well, I want to step back a moment from signing the Declaration of Independence and talk about the war we have to fight. We're, we're somewhat in a crisis in America today. We actually have a war we need to fight. We have a society burdened by chronic disease. We're going to get to the slide here, I think. There we go. So we have a war to fight. We have a tremendous challenge in our society. It is certainly one we can, uh, we can win. This is a war we can win. Um, and this morning, we're going to lay out the pathway that you can take this to the people of America, China, Canada, and all across the world um, to, to make this a healthier world. Just as our forefathers knew what the problem was, we're going to go through this morning what the problem is, what the causes are. It's not taxation without representation now. We have a, new, a different battle to fight, even more important though. And then we're going to end, of course, with the solutions. We're going to arm you with the tools, with the knowledge, and with the inspiration to make a difference out there in the world. So, but as you saw from Roger, we are not winning the war right at this moment. And in fact, the British are winning the war. No, not really. We're back in revolutionary days. We are not winning the battle of prevention. So today we talk about what we do to reverse these incredibly negative, awful trends that are happening. You are experiencing this, this in your life, in your family's lives, in your friends' lives, in your organization's lives. You see this. You see more of these diseases occurring. More specifically, we have heart disease, our number one killer. One out of every four women will die of heart disease. Every 26 seconds, someone has a heart attack. While we're having this morning general session, almost 600 Americans will die of a heart attack. 30 million Americans live with, uh, with coronary artery disease, heart disease. It's 80% preventable. The good news is that it's preventable. So the, there's awful news out there, but the good news is we have solutions. Cancer, the number two cause of death. Including skin cancers, one out of every two Americans, adults, will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. One in eight women will die of invasive breast cancer. And as you saw from the slide, the prevalence and incidence of cancer continues to increase. We are not winning the battle because we have not gone to the underlying causes. And cancer is at least 60% preventable. So all the pain, all the suffering, all the dollars being sent are theoretically not necessary to be spent if we could dial back to the underlying causes. Number three, diabetes. We call this an illness multiplier. Why do we call it an illness multiplier? Because it multiplies your risk of having so many other diseases, doubles and triples your risk of having cancer, heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, chronic infections. It's the leading cause of blindness and kidney failure, and yet it is 90% preventable. I actually believe it's closer to 100%, but I'll go with the American Diabetes Association, 90% preventable. Anyway, we can, we can win this war, but really, what is the greatest threat we have? The greatest threat to our health is our weight, is our collective American, Canadian, and Chinese, Malaysian, uh, Mexican waistline. We are actually, we've reached a time in our society where the average BMI in America has crept into the obese category. It's shocking news. We know that obesity contributes to heart disease, cancer, diabetes. It may, it may be the cause of at least 30% of cancers and more than doubles your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. And it is 100% preventable. And we certainly have, the, yes. So let me show you a map. Look at this map. Unfortunately, in just 20 years, this is a map that literally is 1990 to 2010. 
and you see that we have to keep adding categories because we just keep getting bigger as a nation. And in fact, if we don't change these trends, for children born since the year 2000, one out of every three of them will develop diabetes and they will be the first generation in the history of all mankind to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. Do we want to win this war? Do we want to fight this battle? All right, let's figure out how to do it. So first of all, you got to understand the reasons, right? You cannot go and win the war unless you know what you're fighting. So what we're fighting here is actually our diets and our lifestyle. So we're going to, we're going to give you the information you need to go out and talk to people. And this morning we're going to unfold a total you know, pathway that makes this so easy to bring this incredibly important message to the world. So we are very overfed as a nation. We know that walking around, right? We have a 2,000% increase, 2,000% increase in fast food consumption. We know that there are fast food restaurants on every corner. At the average American consumes 7,000 ounces of soda per person per year. Now I'm not eating and drinking any, so somebody's drinking mine, so they're getting twice that much. We're eating too much saturated fat, too much salt, too many calories. And yet at the same time, we are undernourished. And the undernourishment not only fuels many of these diseases, but also fuels the overfed part. Because when you're not feeding your body what it needs, when you are part of the 90%, 98% of Americans that don't get the recommended fr fruits and vegetables a day, or the more than 90% that don't get key nutrients every single day, you tend to want to overeat. Because your body says, feed me, feed me. It just can't tell you you need more magnesium or vitamin B12, and so unfortunately you feed yourself a Coke. Or you're like our kids and think that fruit and vegetables are french fries with ketchup on it. Sorry, not the, not the way. So, what are the solutions? Is it that hard, is it really that hard to eat well? What is it that we need so that our bodies aren't driven by these cravings? So we do have the ability to fight these terrible trends that are happening in our society and all around the world. It is actually quite easy. It's vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients and antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, and healthy protein choices. It's not that hard to get, but actually it's really hard to get, isn't it? How are we doing in getting that? We unfortunately don't manufacture these. We have to take them from, get them in from our diet or our diet plus, obviously, supplementation. So, t but here's a kind of a shocking chart that you're seeing up here, which is what's happening to our food supply. Our food supply is literally incredibly compromised. Um, we obviously don't make the right choices, fast food and all that, too much of what we don't need, but we, even when we try to make the right choices, our food nutrient content has declined by up to 38% just in the last 50 years. So we clearly need a new solution, and that new solution is obviously um, changing your lifestyle, incorporating healthy eating habits, um, exercising, trying to get to that healthy weight, but it all fits together with what we do every day, and that's talk about supplementation. Anybody want to know a little more details about the supplementation part of it? Okay, let's get to it. So where do you start? Well, I'm going to build a story here for you this morning that is all about um, the combination of nutrients that is going to lead to reversing these incredible trends, helping you be in charge of your health, and take that message to people around the world. Um, so this is, our, is a slide from our landmark study. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the landmark study, I think probably everyone should know about it. Um, but this is a study that we did a few years back comparing long-term Shackley supplement users to people who didn't use any supplements all, at all or people that use just a multivitamin. So we clearly were able to, are able to say that what the Shackley population is taking, which is clearly not just a multivitamin, not just a random vitamin here or there, but a, a comprehensive package of nutrients. So we clearly want to start with a multivitamin, a good comprehensive multivitamin, and build upon that. What do we want to add to that? Vitamin D. Everybody knows about vitamin D. It's in the news, clearly. But did you know it's not just for your bones? 
It actually reduces your risk of autoimmunity. It reduces your risk of certain cancers. It reduces your risk of having heart attack, actually having heart disease. And it even helps you have healthy gums on top of it all. Periodontal health. That's great news, isn't it? Antioxidants and phytonutrients, we know about those. Vitamins, minerals, I mean the vitamins and minerals like vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, carotenoids, things that people, because they're not eating their fruits and vegetables, are not getting, clearly. Um, and so what do you get from taking this comprehensive package of phytonutrients and antioxidants? Well, you get protection from cancer, protection from heart disease, protection from the scourges of dementia, and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease, and infections, chronic infections and acute, acute infections. Omega-3 fatty acids, another nutrient clearly in the news. Everybody thinks of it as being good for your heart, and clearly it is. Um, but it also helps to lower triglycerides, which have risks beyond heart disease. It helps lower blood pressure. Uh, which can reduce the risk of stroke. It actually can pr uh, lower your risk up to 50% of having sudden death. So even if you had a heart, heart disease, you're, more, you're less likely to die suddenly. But that's a good thing, right? Nobody wants to drop dead. Um, we also know that it helps support immune health. It helps support healthy mood. Um, and it also, in a recent study, women who took DHA during pregnancy, we followed their kids, not we, but the scientists, the research, followed their kids to age five, and their IQs of the moms who took DHA were significantly higher than those moms who didn't take DHA. And finally, the really important nutrient to consider in your, in your package of health, in your foundation of health, is probiotics. Probiotics, obviously, for digestive health, but also help improve your overall immunity because your 70% uh, of your immune system cells are created in your digestive tract. May help actually prevent cancerous transformation of cells um, in the digestive tract. Um, also helps prevent urinary tract infections. So, in closing, what do you need? These are key supplements and the amounts that I want you to take as, as your foundation, not as your total package, but certainly as the foundation, as the starting point that is going to help people feel better, even in the first 30 days, um, and absolutely be able to make a commitment to their health long term. So you want to have your multivitamin, and you want to have additional, at least 1,000 international units, 1,000 to 2,000 international units of vitamin D. You want to have calcium, at least 500 milligrams, a nice spectrum of antioxidants, carotenoids and other phytonutrients, as well as at least 500 milligrams of vitamin C, 200 international units of vitamin E, um, and probiotics. At least 500 milligrams to 1,000 of omega-3s. And then don't forget, you may want to add in some healthy protein choices, a healthy meal, um, as well as possibly some resveratrol and some polyphenols. What can you expect? What can you expect as you take this to people in the United States, Canada, Mexico, Malaysia, Taiwan, sorry I didn't say Taiwan earlier, and China? Um, you, will ex you will experience, as you have all experienced, you have to tell your story. We're all about sharing stories, so this is going to be what people can expect. Better energy, stronger immunity, healthier digestion, healthier looking skin, hair, and nails, looking younger than your age, imagine that. Um, having the assurance that you know that you're doing the right thing for yourself, for your family, for America, because we want America to have, and all the countries around the world, to have a healthier, happier future. And we offer this. We have the tools, the inspiration, the information. You can load your, um, yourself with this news, with this excitement, with everything that we have to take to the world and truly take on the battle, take on the war that we all are fighting right now as we look at America becoming less and less healthy as opposed to what should be happening um, as we took control back in 1776 and took made this country independent and the greatest country in the world. We need to do that again and lead the world in what we need to do to transform our health with nutrition and supplementation. And thank you very much. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Jamie McMahon.